Hyundai and its sister company Kia had announced today that they are putting a solar roof on a car. Um, now, this is exciting. Uh, I love new technology stuff. Now, I also should mention that Fisker and I think Prius did that for a year or two. Um, the technology is not there yet. It's just not uh, efficient enough. And I'll tell you in a second why. But um, these guys, uh, and as you know, Hyundai and Kia are our sister companies, are, are going to move forward with it. It is a little odd how they're rolling this out because I think they're going to roll out first to their hybrids then to their ICE cars, and then to their all-electric cars. So not quite sure why in that order, but nevertheless, they're doing it. Some interesting sort of uh, uh, numbers that they're throwing out there. I'm going to tell you about that and a few other things and why I think this may not work just right away, but yet still very exciting. All of this is coming up next. Thank you. <laughs> I just missed my own ending of the of the of the intro. That's that's because I haven't played it in a while, right? Okay. Well, anyway, <laughs> thank you to those of you who are watching me live on Patreon, and of course, if this is your first time here on YouTube, uh, a welcome. And uh, if you're interested in staying up to date on everything uh, that's going on in the world of electric cars and solar roofs, uh, you just go ahead and click on that subscribe button so you don't miss anything moving forward i should <laughs> i should really wake up all right so let's talk about this solar roof uh thing that they're putting on their hyundai's and kia's um looks pretty cool um you know from above i obviously uh, we rarely see this um uh, this uh cool uh image of our cars unless we work our offices are very very high up or you're washing your car uh but and this is not supposed to be for making the car you know look better uh but uh, they're claiming uh, and i guess this is the main idea is to that this this the solar roofs on on these cars are gonna you know basically recharge the car now they're claiming where's my notes something crazy i had to write this down yeah 30 to 60 percent of battery uh replenishment per day now this is a big statement because these these this little you know solar roofs they're not providing that much energy i believe in prius and both prius and fisker they like barely were able to run a fan I mean, we're not even talking about air conditioning just a little fan um so I, and i'm not really sure that they've made too many strides and don't forget the problem is the weight also you know you 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 may be able to charge the car a little bit but then you're going to use so much of that same energy uh, to carry the, the the damn thing uh on a on a roof of the car uh and it might just be completely just 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 break even as far as as far as energy is concerned so um that and and when they say 30 or 60 percent of a battery well what battery is this going to be a tiny little battery? Is this going to be a huge battery? What battery are we talking about? So not not very clear. And they're also another unclear number that they gave uh, here, uh, and and which is even I don't understand why why would you not be able to do that? Is they said that this is going to be available after 2019? You mean 2020? You just say 2020, but um, still pretty aggressive for the technology that I think is behind. So let's let's break it down, and I'll tell you why it's good news, uh, and what what concerns uh, usually people have with something like that. Also, a couple of um, other pictures um, as well. So, but before that, of course, I want to make sure that you guys know that this channel and this show is sponsored by Climate Exchange. Uh, this is a non-profit organization and I encourage you guys to support them, but they're doing something really cool. They're running a raffle and they're only selling 4,000, no more than 4,000 tickets and they're raffling off three different Teslas. So your chances of winning are pretty damn good. The tickets are $250. There's a link to uh, where you're able to enter and buy them in the description of this video. US only, unfortunately. Sorry about that. And even if you don't win, you're still going to be doing a good deed because you will be supporting them uh, in, in bringing our economy to a low carbon uh, future. So uh, all good stuff all around. Thank you to them for sponsoring this channel. Back to the solar roof, back to Hyundai and uh, Kia. Here's another picture, by the way, where you can see them testing it, I guess, um, or <laughs> charging uh, their iPhone. <laughs> one one of another so you can see that i think the third version the third generation is going to be kind of see-through right um so it's going to be a panoramic roof so you won't you have to have a hard hard roof which is which is pretty cool so um okay so the problem with, with it, 
The good, I think I told you about what the problem is, right? Not very efficient enough uh, uh, and also because of the weight and, and we're just not there yet. However, um, the idea is is great and, and hopefully, you know, you know, we criticize, I criticize a lot, a lot of times, uh, you know, Tesla and Musk, how they're pushing for the future, how they, how are they setting this unreasonable uh, uh, deadlines and stuff like that. But this could be one of those things that is good where, I mean, this is, this is pretty unreasonable, I think, but at the same time, it will push them and hopefully other companies, other manufacturers uh, to explore this, uh, uh, this technology because you know, what are the other sources can you possibly have without literally plugging the car in, right? Or or wireless charging highways, which are also not going to happen anytime soon, sorry, uh, to, to, to get this done, right? Obviously, it's going to be sun. Now, depending on where you live, in, in California, it's going to be just a little bit easier than it, it is in Seattle or in Norway. Uh, so granted, that is also a, not exactly a reliable uh, source of the energy. Um, and, and, and I guess, you know, Hyundai and Kia and whoever else is going to explore this technology are going to just make a decision. Is this going to be one of those, you know, additions um, or packages that you only sell in California and Florida and, you know, maybe some of the sunnier areas of, uh, of of Europe or you know they, they're going to be able to find a way to be to have them you know really really efficient um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section because I think this is pretty cool and I know one of my most you know popular videos on this channel is actually when I visited the one of the first Tesla solar roof houses you know, I think the topic is pretty hot as far as houses are concerned. And there are other companies out there and I've reached out to them and hopefully to do a story on them that they're doing very similar thing in Canada and Europe and so forth. Um, and I really think this is a really great idea. I'm, I'm, I just did a video about how, you know, Tesla unfortunately is, is delaying this. But nevertheless, I think I think this is definitely the future, an exciting one. Uh, um, uh, at least for me, let me know. Um, let, but before, uh, before anything, I, I also want to uh, say a huge thank you to yet another Patreon. Now, I know this is where I say thank you to the new Patreon, but Michael has been a Patreon for a while and he just upped his contribution to something crazy. I think he upped it to like $25 a month, uh, even though the, the, the highest tier is five, uh, $5 where you can watch me live, um, some exclusive um, sort of a, a more private uh, life uh, uh, um, uh, conversation that I, that I have with my Patreons. You know, my Patreons also shape a lot of times, uh, um, you know, the topics and, and some of even my opinions on the show because a lot of them just kind of interact with me and bring some information and opinions that I, I definitely appreciate. Uh, and so becoming a part of the community, uh, uh, you know, is definitely... Uh, has its benefits, but thank you so much for supporting my show. I can obviously uh, not do that without you guys because I rely on on this type of income to be a full time YouTuber. And also, don't forget, I um, I will be um, well. I will be doing a, a live uh, subscriber hangout uh, this Sunday. I've been doing it twice already, and I think I'm going to keep going. Um, so if you want to uh, subscribe to this channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification. And one thing I completely forgot uh, uh, to mention, and I don't know why, and, I, and, and unfortunately, I, I, oh, I do have a, a slide for that. So um, the event... Here, I'm going to the event here in Sacramento. This is pretty exciting. I, I think I'm going to stream live. Um, this is the company called uh, Envoy, um, and they're partnered up with Electrify America, the fast charging network that's growing all over the United States um, in, in the city of Sacramento. And I'll, maybe I'll even get to interview the mayor. I know he's available for interviews, so it'll be exciting. Um, and um, they are essentially like a, a, a zip car. Uh, but only with all electric fleet. And I think uh, Volkswagen Golf is going to be the main portion of their fleet, um, obviously because Electrify America is owned by Vol Volkswagen, uh, Volkswagen Group. So um, I'm going to go there and check it out and, you know, talk to Electrify America people, talk to hopefully mayor of Sacramento. You know, Sacramento is the capital of California, just in case if you guys don't know. Uh, and, and this is where a lot of green energy projects are, 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 are taking place. There's a lot of budget for it here. So I'm uh, uh, really, really excited to do that. Uh, so watch me live tomorrow. All right, guys, um, it's, it's, it's been fun. Uh, two more videos today. No, yeah, one more video today uh, and another one will go tomorrow morning. But other than that, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.